Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol B-I-E-L. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame. I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis quite a few times in the past, although it's been a, a few days since the last update. So, but definitely want to get things updated here as you know, something finally happened and that something quote unquote all revolved around our moving averages. Now, this is nothing new for those of you that have watched the videos in the past, uh, but this, if this is your first video, we'd been tracking the 50 period simple moving average, that purple line, and then the 200 period, that pink moving average, and they were converging on one another. You can see they were just heading towards each other. And at this point, you know, before today, it was a question of, well, are the bulls gonna get a breakout through the moving average or a breakdown through, you know, the downside of the 200 period? And we got our answer today. Uh, the bears ultimately went out and did press the price downwards. So we now need to get some things updated here. Gonna have to scrunch up the chart a little bit just to offer a little bit more context. So let's first start by talking about, you know, where the newest level of support seems to be. So for that, let's see, this was the previous breakout point. All right, that makes perfect sense. Right down here at 0012, why do I say that makes perfect sense? Well, foundational principle in charting states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see the MACD support. And for those of you that maybe remember this period, but acted as a stubborn area of resistance when the price got above it, acted as support, and then fast forward to today, once again, acting as support. So good to see that 0012 is indeed acting as support. So that'll be the key level to watch. In the event the price cannot hold above there, the next potential level of support down there at 001. Now, what about levels of resistance? For this, I'm just gonna zoom back in here. As far as levels of resistance, it's really all about the 50 period simple moving average now, which is that purple line. And I guess when I stop and think about it, nothing's new here. You know, it was a level of resistance last video I did. Uh, but now the only difference here is it's actually crossed down below the pink line. You can see it's already acted as resistance there. I'm not gonna assign a numerical value to it because it is a moving average. So that value is gonna change with time. But any sort of upwards bounce, the key question becomes, you know, how is the price gonna react around that purple line? Can the price not only break above it, but stay above it? So we'll see what happens with it. Uh, but a lot of volume in this one today. We'll see if the bulls can uh, bottom out here and then uh, try to get back on track or not. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.